How do you move off the plateau? How do you break this? Well, you break this by practicing right. Tackle something really hard. For me, that would mean sitting down and instead of trying to draw a caricature, trying to pencil a portrait of someone. I've never done that before. <laughs> I know. You're saying, wait, you've got a career as a cartoonist. You've got a career in the visual arts, and you've never tried to pencil someone's portrait. And it's true. I did what I got paid for, and then I kept doing that. And I stopped getting any better after about 2007. So I, I'm plateaued. And maybe I've gotten a little better. Fail often. That sounds like fun. Fail often, and then learn from it. Talk to an expert. Talk to somebody in your field who is better at this than you are. Show them your work, and don't say, you know, mister, do I have a chance in this business? Say, mister, what's wrong with what I've done? One more time. And My favorite thing about UVU? You know, I've, Probably going I've had volumes. many a conversation, I'm going to name drop again, with Phil Folio, and I Good love time. his artwork. And he talked to me at one point and he said, one you know, when you draw people My favorite thing clothing, about you, you're pretty much just wearing probably spandex going to the underwear. Games. Well, yeah, it's because drawing wrinkles is hard. And Phil said, all right, so go get yourself a fashion design book and learn to draw some bleeping wrinkles. I think those were his exact words. Um, and so what I did, I went out and got a fashion design book, looked at it, and I swear, in three pages of flipping through these sketches, I realized this fashion design book, this fashion illustration book, these people are using a shorthand, very similar to the cartooning shorthand, but they're using different squiggles than I do. So, man, I, so that's how you draw the crotch of pants. I just said crotch on the internet. Um, and I looked at that and I thought, well, wow. So I started drawing things differently, and I gave Captain Tagon a new uniform. Why did I give him a new uniform? So that I could sneak my practice into my work, still get paid, and decide whether or not I liked it. Uh, turns out I like it. The whole cast is going to be getting uniforms at some point in the future. You can thank Phil. And don't be afraid to reinvent your game. Somebody was telling me the other day that Tiger Woods um, best golfer in the world, maybe, Tiger Woods, really good golfer, probably one of the ten best in the world, sat down and said, you know, I'm just not getting any better. And so he's reinventing his game, going back to basics, learning how to hold the club again, learning how to swing again. Tiger Woods, come on, just go up there and get paid. He doesn't want to get paid, he wants to be the best. And that's really the difference between the people who end up at the top of that plateau and the people who keep ascending throughout their careers. It has nothing to do, or statistically very little to do, with innate ability, and everything to do with finding the right ways to practice what it is you want to be good at. Next slide. So, advice for creative folk. Don't bother looking for something you think you're good at. Have you ever done that? Anybody ever done that? I did that. So, am I good at this? Can I be an artist? Am I good at this? Can I be a music person? Am I good at this? Can I be a male underwear model? Um, the, okay, maybe that one requires some innate talent and a lack of self-esteem. Um, on the internet, what have I done? Um, but don't do that. It'll make you lazy or it'll get you discouraged because somebody will tell you, oh, you're not good at that. Second, pick something you have a passion for. Pick something you really like. RJ, do you like martial arts? Love it. You love it. Yeah, and you're TAing now in uh, the class and punching people every day. RJ is one of my close friends. If you're trying to get to me, you have to go through him, just so you know. Odds are pretty good you're going to pick something you actually have talent for. Can I predict that with science? No, I'm not going to try. I'm just going to stay. I'm, I'm just going to say you'll probably pick something that you end up being good at. Forget the science. You'll know it's true when people start insulting you. I think I like most about you. UVU is just a you fun environment so to work talented. in. You are so talented. RJ, you've just got a gift for hurting people. Wow. 
Um, that's I think I like most about UVU what, is a just a fun environment of, uh, that we can work in. Regular class. My favorite thing about the community after, aspect that's here. After uh, class? Wait a minute. The thing I like most about UVU is just a fun environment that we can work in. My favorite thing about UVU is the audio program. Doing what it. Tackle something hard. Find the parts that you suck at and learn to stop sucking. Next slide. The dynamic range of raw human ability is tiny compared to the range of practiced human accomplishment. Though your talent might let you make some noise at first, I've got to read to figure out what my own quote is, only diligent practice will get you heard.